Mom, can I talk to you for a second? I need to ask you something. What is it? I'm kind of busy right now. I don't have any money. Why did you bring up money? I haven't said anything yet. You left years ago, and I haven't heard from you since then. Now, all of a sudden, you contact me. You're either asking for money or you've done something wrong. It's the usual thing you always do. You're that kind of girl. If it's not about money, then maybe you fell for a scam. What do you mean that kind of girl? Why are you being so judgmental? Have I ever asked you for money or fallen for a scam? No, but I know you would. You've always been fat and slow. You're not very smart and you have an ugly face. I think you'd be easily fooled. You're so different from Marie. You're a helpless girl. I wonder how two sisters could be so different. That's not what I contacted you for. Then, what is it? Can you make it quick? I told you I'm busy. You're still as thoughtless as ever. Okay, I will make this quick. I just got an award for the work I'm doing. They asked me if I could invite my family to some sort of award ceremony. An award? It's nothing important, isn't it? You're so overjoyed by it. It's ridiculous. Well, if you insist, I'll go. When is it? Next Sunday. Ah, I can't go that day. Marie's wedding is on that day. What? My sister's wedding? My sister getting married? I haven't heard about it. You didn't ask? What do you care if you know or not? You're not invited. What? Why would you not invite me? It's my sister's wedding. If she's getting married, I want to be there to celebrate. I'm like Marie, you really are unattractive. If I invited you, the dignity of our family would be questioned. Marie's husband is the president of a major tech company. He's also very handsome, very elegant, and very rich. Marie is beautiful just like me. So, they make a perfect match. There's no way I'd invite someone as ugly as you to such a glamorous ceremony. Even your father said not to invite you because you're anxiety. Marie also said that the fact that you're her sister is the biggest disgrace in her life. She can believe she's blood related to you. That's why you weren't invited. I'm not interested in your stupid awards. You're on your own. You've always treated Marie much better than me. You've been calling me ugly and stupid. But even so, I thought we were family since we are blood related. I never thought you hated me that much. Please don't do this. The idea that I'm related to you is horrifying. I wish I'd never even had you. I can believe that I, this beautiful woman, could give birth to an ugly girl like you. I think it's time for us to officially break off our ties. I don't want Marie's husband to know that I have a disgrace like you. Does that mean I'm a child you don't want anymore? I mean, I'm your daughter. Not anymore. You have been an unwanted child from the very beginning. Marie is enough of a daughter for me. It was a mistake to have a second child. Don't bother me with your nonsense. I'm busy preparing for Marie's wedding. I can spare even a minute or a second of my time for you. Do you think you have the right to take up our time, you ugly thing? Can't you take a hint and stop contacting me? Okay, I won't contact you anymore. Don't bother us, you ugly little girl. Live your life like an ugly person. Don't come back here again. Your face makes me uncomfortable. I won't. I was a fool to contact you. Goodbye. Hey, you. What did you do? Tell me everything. Who is this? Oh dear, what a heartless girl. How could you forget about your mother who raised a worthless girl like you? You say you didn't want me. What do you want now? Marie's husband asked me about you. He said he saw you in some newspaper. He was praising you so much. But what on earth did you do? Oh, maybe he was talking about the medal. 
I'm doing scientific research abroad. I was awarded for my research. I got a medal. A medal? You mean the medal? No, wait. You're overseas? I haven't heard anything about it. I've been abroad since college. Mom, you really have no interest in me, do you? What a surprise. Well, you let me go to high school. I had to do my own research, apply for college on my own. You told me to get the hell out of the house and you wouldn't give me any money. I guess it couldn't be helped that you didn't know. But you know what? It's in the middle of the night now here because of the time difference. I don't care about that. A university abroad? Where did you get that kind of money? You didn't steal our money, did you? You thief. What are you talking about? I went to college on a scholarship. You said that the only way I could go to college was on a scholarship. You say you wouldn't pay any money. Fend for yourself. You really don't remember, do you? My sister went to college from home. She didn't even have to get a part-time job and she was playing around without needing to pay any living expenses at home. I live on my own, took care of all the money and bills by myself and never touch any of your money. I can pay back my scholarship with the money I receive along with this medal. So, I'm not burdening you guys. I don't care if you're overseas. What kind of medal? I guess it's like the national medal of the country. Like the medal of honor? It's a medal given to those who have contributed to the country in the field of science. I got that. You're kidding! You contributed to the country and got a medal? No, but it's from some undeveloped country. What's the point of having such a thing? You're shameless to brag about it. Ugly losers get carried away by the slightest thing. I'm not bragging. So maybe Maurice has been heard about. I think he was talking about the award ceremony we had the other day. I was honored alongside head of state and celebrities. The other day? It's already over? You never said that it was a medal ceremony. You didn't ask. That's what I learned from you. If you couldn't come, it's fine. Frankly, at this rate, I'm glad I didn't invite you. It would have been embarrassing to have the whole world's attention on my parents at the ceremony. Well, that's why. Wait a minute. Maurice's husband would love to meet you. I mean, he wants to introduce himself. He wants to talk to you. Being recognized by the president of a big company is something that even a mom feels proud about. Even though it's a small country, it's a national honor. Isn't that great? You should come home for a while to improve the image of the family. Perhaps, maybe you can be introduced to some of Marie's husband's friends. I met them at the wedding and many of his friends are quite wealthy. You can write on the cocktails of their wealth. No, it's not necessary. I'm not leaving because I have more research to do. And anyway, I have a fiancé. A fiancé? I won't acknowledge some unknown man from a backwater country. He's probably filthy poor man who is only after your money anyway. You better come back home and marry someone you know is a wealthy man. You don't know what a foreigner is thinking. Marry a proper American. I don't need your approval. Besides, he's a nobleman with a title. What? What are you talking about? Novel? Fiction? Is this a dream story? No, really. He's Vicon in this country. He owns a few companies and I heard he has a vacation home and stuff. We met in college and became good friends. He's an aristocrat, but he's not a snob. He's interested in my research. He's very friendly and nice. He introduced me to his parents and we are engaged. We are planning to get married in the next year or so. You're lying. There's no such thing as a nobleman or vicon in this day and age. I get it. It's all in your head. You're just trying to look good. Enough with the lies. I knew it. You're an ugly, helpless woman who has no place in the real world. Well, if you think I'm lying, that's fine. I'm not going back for a while. Maybe never. 
I told him that if I go back, I'll have to get married. He pleaded me not to go back. Oh, come on. I promised Mari's husband that I would have you over next time. If you want, you can bring your boyfriend too. As your mother, I'm obligated to see what kind of person he is. Mother? Who? You've never been a mother to me, and you haven't contacted me for five years. Don't be a mother to me when it suits you. You're repulsive. What a thing to say! Marie and you are my beautiful daughters. I'm very proud of the fact that you are my daughter. You said my sister is enough of a daughter, right? That's what you said. As for me, my family now is enough. So, this is the last time I'm talking to you. Wait, please, just once. I'll introduce you to Marie's husband as a close sister. I promised Marie's husband I'd take you to meet him. He's really looking forward to it. I apologize for not inviting you to Marie's wedding, and I'm sorry I've been cold to you. But thanks to me, you have grown into a fine person, haven't you? Everything I did was for your sake. So let's make up. Get back in a good mood, okay? We've already cut ties with each other, right? I, who was being neglected, have become someone who seems to be somewhat useful. You mean you're going to use me for your own benefit? Don't make me laugh, because I'm never going back. You're not coming back? Then what about meeting Murray's husband? He's looking forward to it. If you don't come back, I'll lose face. Are you trying to humiliate us? I don't care. You promised by yourself. Go ahead and embarrass yourself. Oh, and tell my sister. I saw the photo she posted on her secret social media account of her and her ex-boyfriend sleeping together the day before the wedding. I saved the pictures. So, if you try to mess with me anymore, I will spread them around. What the hell is that? What does that mean? Explain. Catherine? I don't know. Why don't you ask Marie for details? Well then, goodbye forever. After that, I blocked messages, phone calls, and completely cut off ties with my parents. According to information from a friend back home, Marie got pregnant and had a baby. However, it was found out soon after that she had an affair with her ex-boyfriend and it was revealed that the child was a result of that. Her husband demanded a large amount of alimony and a divorce, and she is now struggling with the situation. On the other hand, I happily married my fiancé and continue to work. Anne, your outfit today is hilarious. <laughs> Since you're ugly, you should at least put some effort into fashion. Alice, am I that bad? I've never been much into fashion. I'm trying to make an effort, but... You're making an effort with that? I really feel sorry for Mickey. He's a good-looking guy. Why did he choose a girl like you? You're right. I'm really lucky Mickey picked me. I wish he'd divorce you soon, though, because you're not a good match. There's no way I'm getting a divorce. And you're so desperate. <laughs> but you know, no matter how you look at it, when the three of us walk around together, Mickey and I are a beautiful couple. And you look like a servant, don't you think? Isn't that a bit harsh? It's true that I'm not as pretty as you. But I'm doing my best in my own way with makeup and fashion. You don't have to go that far. I'm honest, so I'm just saying about what I think. <laughs> By the way, you're going to the movies with Miki tomorrow, right? Yes. Why do you ask that? I want to go with Miki alone. So can you not come, Anne? What? Are you coming with us on our date again? Huh? What's with that attitude? Don't be mistaken. You're the one who's just along for the ride. You know, Mickey is not your boyfriend. He's your brother, right? So what? You try to come with us on every date. Whenever we stay over at your house, you crawl into Mickey's bed. Are you being too clingy with him? 
Are you jealous? <laughs> no, I'm not. Mickey just got mad at you about it the other day, didn't he? That was because you made him do it, wasn't it? Even though you're ugly, just because you're his wife, you think you can push me around? You're jealous of me because I'm pretty and have good fashion sense, right? No, I'm not. If you mess with me again, I'll show this message to Mickey, okay? You're really annoying. I've had enough. Anne, can you talk right now? Long time no see. What's up? I got a boyfriend. Really? Congratulations! So that's why I haven't seen you lately. Yeah, whatever. Hey, but listen. My boyfriend's sister has a huge brother complex. She follows us on every date and never leaves my boyfriend's side. When I go to stay over, they're in bed together and I'm on the couch. And my boyfriend doesn't say anything. It's really gross. I'm the girlfriend. It's like, who do you think you are? I see. <laughs> but that's just like what you were doing to us. So the feelings you are feeling right now are how I felt. Did you feel that way? Of course I did. Every time we went on a date, you came along and clung onto Mickey. And when I came to stay over, you would crawl into the bed he was sleeping in. It was really weird because you were so clingy. But Mickey got mad at you, so I guess it's a little better than your situation. That's mean! You feel that way about your boyfriend's sister too, right? By the way, Mickey said it was weird for him too, but he put up with it because you were his sister. My boyfriend won't even take my side, so what I'm gonna do? If you don't like it, why don't you just break up? But you and his sister are alike, so maybe you two are more compatible than you think. Come on, be serious! I'm being serious. <laughs> you know, I put up with your crop for too long. I have a physical aversion to you. I talked to Miki and we decided. We're moving out of state. So if you break up with your boyfriend, don't bother us. No way. I'll be all alone. Don't go. Do something. There's no way Miki would abandon me. You need to let go of your brother. Mickey said he won't see or contact you until you get over this. I can't do that. Please don't do that. I'll apologize. I need Mickey. You reap what you sow. The incident with your boyfriend's sister is just karma catching up. Well then, take care. I'm sorry. Don't abandon me. At least let me get in touch with Mickey. We blocked my sister-in-law from contacting us and we are living peacefully outside the state. She seems to have asked around my mother-in-law, father-in-law, etc. about our whereabouts, but no one told her because they all knew her brazenness. In the end, she couldn't stand her boyfriend's sister's harassment. She broke up with him and became a recluse. Thank you for watching. Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video!